afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh, and I'm here tonight to review ACAM. This is a gap up. I think that the play tomorrow is long because of the market in a gap. Now, that being said, <clears throat> this is a this is a good bullish gap uh, for let me just go back here for the day, anyways. So let's look at the targets of this. Target of this is $50 tomorrow. It really has to open and open and go immediately almost. I don't want to see this break 45. That's a dollar away from here. But I don't want to see this break 45 here into the open. If it breaks 45 into the open, it's not going to set up right. If it holds 45, this is a good long. Target's 50. This is a good target on the day. The stock can run $5 on the day. And I do believe we have the market with us tomorrow, which will be good for this. Long-term pattern in this, I do not like higher. But as a day trade, you can day trade bullish gaps, even against their overall trend, just like I short stocks that are in an uptrend. Okay, so this is a one-day wonder here, up to $50. It is a good gap. It is holding nice and strong. This did have earnings tonight. Actually, here's the 45 area. Now, I just had a really important conversation with someone about profit taking, and this is something that I talk about in the room. We've been talking about it more and more. I'm giving the target of 50. I give targets on things. Are targets important? Yes, but I'm realizing in teaching people, actually teaching people is giving me more experience than ever about targets because in my mind, I, I always have a target in my head with a stock because I'm always thinking, what is it worth the risk to reward? But I don't always hold every trade to the target, even even some of it or all of it. I, I usually don't hold all of it to the target, and sometimes I don't even hold a piece of it to the target. The most important thing about trading is making money, and I consistently make money. Now, do things consistently go to the target that I want it to every day? No, but I consistently make money, so we have to go with that and take the trades with the picks and the entries and make the money that we can based on where the stock is going and what we can sustain. Because what if it doesn't get to 50 tomorrow? What would be a target before 50? Well, I'll tell you right now. There's a bunch of them. 47. And then the next one here, 48. If this gets over 48, it should blow to 50. But what this probably is going to do is go to 48 and then come in hard, and then maybe rally up to 50. So will you be able, like let's just say you go long this in the morning here around 45. Say it pulls back in the morning, you go long at 45, it rallies up $3, you're up three bucks. Let's say you have 2,000 shares, you're up six grand. Are you gonna give back two grand or three grand to make another four or five or six or whatever? You know what I mean? So this is where this is where the money manager comes in. Very often in my day trading, I I don't like to hold late. I like to do the quick play and out, whatever it ends up being. Sometimes what I will do is take the quick play, and if I'm up my goal for the day, I get all out into the first run up. Sometimes I take the quick play, and this isn't a long. Usually I do shorts, but in a long, I take the quick play, I get the move, I get out of half, then I let the rest go to the next target. If it doesn't. Then I'm out. If it does, then I'm out of the next number. Because stocks don't go in one direction. They just they just don't. They look like they're going to, but they don't. You know, wiggles and jiggles back and forth. This is money management. This is common sense. And this goes even with the options plays I've been calling to. Everybody has to have their own money management. I think I think I'm gonna have to write a class on money management because I'm I'm assuming a lot. And, I, and I'm assuming a lot with people in reference to money management. And I can see now after teaching for, well, I've been teaching, I've been teaching for four years, trading for eight, teaching for four. I can see that there is, there is a lot of things that people want to want to learn about money management. For me, it comes down to the common sense of being up money and, and knowing that it's never over to the fat lady sinks. What does that mean? It means when you're up, if you take it all out, it's, you got it. You got to decide what you have no regrets, okay? What are you going to have the regret about? Are you going to have the regret being up a lot in the trade and then losing it all, and losing in the trade, losing all the profit and losing in it? Or are you going to have a regret getting out too soon? Like, what is your biggest regret when you think about the mistakes that you've made trading? This is what you kind of have to find 
a common sense ground with yourself. And everybody's a different personality. Everyone's a different personality. And although I'm a risk taker in reference to my entries, the fact that I even trade at all, that I call things, that I'm day trading on the one minute chart, doing options, all this stuff, I still know that you have to have good money management, which is you want to take money off when you're up. It doesn't matter if you take it all off or half, but the worst thing you could do is be up a good amount of money in a trade, a goal for the day even, okay, and then not get out of any of it and then lose in the trade. So please, 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 if ACAM doesn't go to $50 tomorrow, don't sweat a bullet. If it goes to 47 or 48, that's a good solid trade. This really does need to hold 45 though. I think this is good with the market tomorrow. If the market holds long, which I do believe it does, but you got to watch the market because this stock is in a downtrend and I'd rather see this rally with the market. I do think this probably goes to 50 though, but not without a pullback. So be careful. Be very, very careful, everyone. And use common sense with money management. Okay? Have a great day, everyone. Email me with any questions if you'd like more information at melissa.thestockswish.com.